Hi guys, uh, today I will be making a advertisement CSM on my webpage. So basically I will, uh, what I will do, I will make uh, Google AdSense uh, advertising CMS on my webpage. So uh, this is my webpage and uh, you notice we don't have any AdWords but uh, AdSense ads. Uh, but I will make uh, different fields in many places at the header at the side and somewhere in the content so uh, what I want what what we'll be making is um, right here we have reclam as it means ads and we have no no web page yet so let's start by making it first all right so uh, this is my setting panel I will use advertisements on off and afterwards I'll make uh, uh, advertisements like maybe three or four sizes and then the codes inside and then which advertisement is on which is off so at the, at the web page if all advertisements are off don't show any advertisements if one of two advertisements uh, is on off then show only one or two okay so let's start uh, by making our first PHP code and uh, basically what this is this is a wait sorry PHP uh, basically what this is it, it, it includes my database my select my admins my session emails and everything uh, with this it identifies the user and this is where it connects the database select the database from for admin panel so if you don't uh, if you started by zero you should just MySQL connect to database and select database and then start coding it this is only for me because I use a CMS alright so first we need to do uh, if uh, okay let's in the beginning save it like ads ads PHP I use Notepad++, so I recommend you to use it also because what I like the most is because if you click here, it shows where the tag ends. All right, so and now we need to select settings from my database. Um, I have all already code here. It's this means settings from database, and uh, what this does, it selects all information from page settings uh, where will be loaded information if advertisements are on or off. Uh, f from where my domain, some pages, this domain name, because I use it on multiple domains, so all all pages has all pages has different settings. So, all right. So, let if ps means page page settings. This is a variable which is equal to information here. If if ps adds equals yes, um, then it will show something else if adverts, advertisements are turned off so just say ads are turned off all right so uh, change them in settings or right, page settings all right so now if ads ads are turned on uh, we need to write a form uh, with each ads and every different ads before we can do a form I, su I suggest you make a database and and uh, how do we make how do we make a database so I, I already made a database with ads right here all right we are logged out just log in again uh, with ads right here and what I have here is the page the Wide ad and the content ad, and uh, this is basically what what you need. This is a text because maybe you will later add a flash advertisement, so you need flash code inside. So maybe flash code sometimes is thousand and maybe sometimes hundred symbols. So I just wrote a text because text is unlimited, and uh, page is just for my for, for example page ID, which which where you want to show the ads. It's okay. We have two ads now. And the thing is, we need to make in page settings uh, another field which is ads, and you just go. Uh, I'll find it right here. All right, you need to go to structure, and you just after, just at the last, 
the last column just add adds watch uh, five yes or no there will be and right default value is a definite ID yes um, so if if somebody inserts something you just have a default value because you have yes or no and nothing so I suggest you write it yes okay now uh, before we can do it we need to write the code in page settings that we set advertisements are on or off uh, but now that we have advertisements yes uh, I will just make uh, no I will make it on or off anyway so we need to open this page and just write ads yes or no uh, I already had this code up and then I will just write it on top I'll try to do it very quickly because this is actually this is a part of the programming script which I want to make so you have to learn it also adds on or off this is basically when I search it on the code so I will find it adds the select name is adds 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 because I made a new column which is adds adds alright uh, I'll just go very brief in this code uh, if we had a value of ads, which is yes or no, if we have it, then uh, if ads are yes, show in the select field where is which name is is ads. If is yes, then you show first value is yes, the second is no. If ads are no, then the first value is no, the second is yes. So uh, keep in mind that uh, if you ro load the page and you change one setting to yes or no, and you uh, update it. Uh, you must have the previous settings uh, before, so it will update the same. It will update as it showed here. Uh, all right, so uh, ads. Okay, now we need to up, up, upload that uh, page setting. Ads equals equals post ads. All right, so uh, I will just upload the script to the server. Note that I'm uploading many videos to server also and maybe my, my computer will be slow or right, I didn't change it to ads okay so all right let's do it like this because I basically work with AdSense and to AdSense but uh, if I use advertisements I use ad ad AdSense advertisements so we'll just check it how it works Sorry, maybe yeah, it, it doesn't update information, so I, I'll just go through and s see what's wrong. Ads, ads, ads. All right, all right, not ads, but I wrote DS. So sorry, maybe you see seen on my video before. So okay, well, let's let's change it again. All right, ads, yes or no? All right. Uh, now that we have our ads uh, set to yes, it means advertisements are on, and we just go to our ad advertisement web page, which we, the PHP file which we made at the beginning, and see. Okay, we don't have the advertisements are turned off, so uh, let's let's check it whether this if function works properly. So just okay, ads are turned off. Change them in page settings. Okay, uh, let's just turn them on. And see again. Okay, so we have uh, we have our uh, page ready. Uh, now we need to do. I will, I will write field like wide add uh, content add and text field and change them. Uh, we go to our ads PHP file which we wrote here. This is at the bottom. So we just. I also I many times do this green line because it identifies by my eyesight. So it, this code is done. Uh, Okay, let's, let's just wrote if you if you do not understand what I'm doing uh, basically this is just a form so a line it, the text in the center now we need to write a form uh, action equals sorry um, Basically, this is a post form, and you write action 
to a link, right? But I always write this is the domain name and this is the URL. So you you link back to the same address. I wrote it. You you can search by internet domain name and URL. It's not very hard to find. All right, so let's write uh, wide add text area name wide add. Uh, the thing is that uh, we need to check whether we have a information here. Uh, we will insert this into uh, ads database, but uh, for example, I'll be using this CMS uh, web page for like um, I mean hundred domain names because I will like it like Joomla, like WordPress, and everything. So. Uh, in every new web page, I should insert manually into my database a new uh, row, which is this domain name's row. So uh, I'll I'll be using uh, I will make it automatically. So uh, add fetch uh, write it at if advertisements are turned on then MySQL fetch array. MySQL query. Uh, all right. Select all from ads where page equals limit one. Page equals this domain name. Uh, this is variable. It's written somewhere in fetch or index file that this is a domain name. Get domain name server address. All right. So if else. Uh, if we don't have ID, we, we, I always write IDs in the front of the code, that's more easier for me later on. Then we need to insert MySQL insert, wait, MySQL query uh, insert into adds values. All right. Uh, in which field in page values all right so if we don't have a fetch ID we insert into uh, into MySQL query and uh, afterwards we should reload the web page so uh, I will not write it here because it's done so let's just upload the script to internet and uh, to my server I mean I'll refresh the page and let's check our ads field. Okay, we have uh, one domain name inserted, so okay, everything is cool. Uh, okay, so if after we have our domain name inserted, we should uh, the fetch ID is read. We have a fetch name, so I just write it here, and this will be wide add, which sizes I forgot but I made it in the structure of my database, the names and this was 728 by 90 sorry and wide is this and fetch this alright so wide add text area name okay size calls I um, mean like 30 rows Five. Uh, okay, so echo break break. But we'll check how much time we have. Okay, I will continue on next tutorial because that time is about to end. Thank you for.